hello viewers welcome to another smc tutorial video in today's video i'll be showing us how we can revoke access to our wallets whether to metamax wallet your trust wallet or any wallet of your choosing why should we revoke access to our wallets i'm sure over time we've heard of people complaining that their wallets have been hacked right so this could be due to a couple of reasons one of which can be the seed phrase was unintentionally shared with the hacker or probably the smart contract has access to the person's wallet so what do i mean by this when we interact with protocols like we want to get into a DeFi investment or we want to buy an nft from an nft marketplace right we are telling the protocol to spend our tokens in order to get what we would love to buy for instance you go on OpenSea and probably want to buy an Ethereum NFT. You tell OpenSea, take my Ethereum, spend my Ethereum. You're granting permission to OpenSea to spend your Ethereum in an exchange for the NFT. And this process is called an allowance. However, there could be situations whereby the developer of that smart contract may have imputed a malicious code which may eventually keep spending your tokens without your authorization and this leads to loss of funds and then people say their wallets have been hacked so this video will be showing us how we can revoke that allowance so no one can spend our tokens without our authorization so first off all we need to do is to open up our browser for this video we'll be using google chrome once you open up your browser impute the url revoke.cash ensure that the url is correct next up we tap on the menu bar that is the three horizontal lines to the top right and then we connect our wallet we tap on wallet connect tap on connect and then for this video i'll be using the trust wallet okay so once our trust wallet is opened it tells us that we should connect then i connect and voila my trust wallet is now connected okay so this buffering you saw earlier is the site checking to see if there is any allowance that needs to be revoked but we can see the ethereum icon right so once you tap on that ethereum icon a drop list comes up with other blockchain networks so we can check on all blockchain networks see if there is any allowance that needs to be revoked so let's try checking the Binance smart chain okay so it's checking see if there's any allowance that needs to be revoked okay now we see a couple okay and then just scroll to the left and then you see that the option to revoke this asset that is have an allowance for busd the option to revoke it is available then you just tap on revoke it's telling me to please switch your connected chain to binance smart chain inside your wallet in order to revoke so what this means is that once you tap on your menu bar you can see that the icon the Ethereum icon is still active is what's on so you just change it to the binance smart chain okay just once okay so we'll wait for it to connect all right so then we go back to tapping the revoke option all right once the trust wallet opens you should see a pop-up telling us that the transaction will be processed soon so just let's wait for this to come up yes so once it's up okay i also need to tell you guys that in order to revoke these allowances you need to have depending on the blockchain network you're using you need to have just a few dollars for network fees so if you're on the binance smart chain if you need to revoke on the binance smart chain you just need to have bnb that is a native token for network fees if you're on the ethereum mainnet you need to have ethereum eth for network fees so let's confirm this okay great transaction submitted and it has been revoked we had to be used this before now we have one let's try revoking the second one okay so we wait for it to come up again and yes then we confirm now this has been revoked as well so 
transaction has been submitted this means that the permission to spend the U BUSD that is the allowance that was once given to spend the BUSD has now been revoked so you can also check other chains other blockchain networks that you interact with probably for DeFi investments to see if there are any allowances that you need to revoke if there are ensure that you revoke everything in order for you not to have your tokens being spent without your authorization so this is the same thing you do for all your other wallets whether it's a metamax trust wallet or any wallet of your choosing so if you want to disconnect to try another wallet just tap and disconnect then you tap on connect wallet again tap on wallet connect tap on connect so let's try metamax now okay so the metamax will then be connected and then you connect you tap on connect and then you can see that it's up you also notice that we're on the ethereum mainnet if you need to change it to the other blockchain you tap on the icon a drop list will come up it's just the same process as i explained earlier with the trust wallet and then you revoke any authorization that has been given to spend your tokens i hope this video has been helpful guys if you do not understand anything in this video kindly make a comment in the comment section and rest assured that someone will be available to attend to you and explain whatever they need clarification thank you for watching and see you in our next video